this is the smallest country in the EU, both in terms of size and population. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today we're looking at Malta, an enchanting archipelago in the Mediterranean Sea. Join us and stay to the end to uncover its rich history, stunning UNESCO World Heritage Sites and vibrant cultural traditions. Malta is a small island country located in the Mediterranean Sea, south of Italy. With a total land area of just 316 square kilometers, it is one of the world's smallest and most densely populated countries. Malta is an archipelago made up of three main islands, Malta, Gozo and Comino. In this video, we will discuss the geography of Malta, including its location, topography, climate and major geographic features. Malta is situated in the Mediterranean Sea, 93 kilometers south of Sicily and 288 kilometers east of Tunisia. It lies on the Malta Plateau, a shallow shelf that extends between Sicily and North Africa. Malta has a strategic location along major sea lanes in the Mediterranean, which has shaped its history. The country's capital and largest city is Valletta. Malta is mostly flat with terraced fields and rugged cliffs along its coasts. The highest point in Malta is Tad Merek, which rises to 253 meters above sea level. The landscape is dominated by hills with fields used for agriculture. The northwestern part of Malta has some ridges and valleys. Some of the major geographic features in Malta include the Grand Harbour is a natural deep water harbour located on the eastern side of Malta. It has been an important harbour since antiquity. The Blue Grotto is a famous sea cavern on the coast of Malta's southern island of Fom Iri. It is popular with tourists for boat trips. The Dingley Cliffs are Malta's highest cliffs, rising 253 metres above the sea on the west coast. They offer scenic views of the Mediterranean. Golden Bay is one of Malta's most popular sandy beaches, located on the northwest coast. And Comino, Malta's third island between Malta and Gozo. It is mostly uninhabited and known for its beautiful bays. The Maltese islands have been inhabited and influenced by various cultures and civilizations throughout their history. Around 500,000 people reside in Malta, according to the World Bank. Ethnically, the people of Malta are a mix of Arab, Sicilian, Spanish, French and British origin. The majority of Maltese trace their genetic origins to the early farmers who settled on the island approximately 7,000 years ago. Later, the Phoenicians, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, Normans, Sicilians, Spanish and Knights of St. John all ruled Malta, influencing the people. Today, Roman Catholicism is the predominant religion in Malta, with around 97% of Maltese identifying as Roman Catholic. The rest of the Maltese population is made up of small minorities of Protestant Christians, Orthodox Christians, Muslims, Jews and non-religious individuals. Maltese and English are the official languages of Malta. About 90% of Maltese people speak Maltese as their native language. English is also widely spoken and mandatory in Maltese schools. Italian is studied as a third language and is also spoken by many Maltese. Maltese cuisine reflects the island nation's Mediterranean climate and diverse cultural influences. Traditional dishes rely on fresh local ingredients like fish, vegetables, cheeses and bread. Pastis is a traditional Maltese snack that resembles an Italian calzone. It consists of a savory pie stuffed with ricotta cheese and minced meat or peas. The pastry is baked into a crispy, flaky shell. Pastis makes a popular quick bite and street food in Malta. Ftira is a type of Maltese bread that can be served as a snack or appetizer. 
It is baked into flat rounds or ovals. Eftira is usually topped with local tuna, capers, olives and tomatoes to make a simple salad-like dish. It can also be stuffed with ingredients like goat cheese. Aljotta is a fish soup that is one of the most beloved dishes in Malta. It features tomato broth along with an assortment of fish like grouper, sea bream and whiting. Savory ingredients like garlic and herbs flavor the hearty soup, which is often served with rice or pasta shells. Begilla is a thick dip or spread made from mashed fava beans. Additional ingredients like olive oil, lemon juice, garlic and mint give it flavor. Begilla is typically served as an appetizer spread on eftira bread, but also goes well with crackers or vegetables. It's a classic example of simple, fresh Maltese cuisine. The Maltese islands have a rich history spanning over 7,000 years. Located in the center of the Mediterranean, Malta has been ruled by various civilizations, including the Phoenicians, Romans, Byzantines, Arabs, Normans, Knights of St. John, French and British. Malta has some of the oldest human structures in the world. The earliest Neolithic inhabitants arrived around 5200 BCE. They built large stone temple complexes like the UNESCO World Heritage Sites of Hagar Kim, Mnaidra and Taksin. Bronze Age people established the defensive citadels and towers seen across Malta. The Phoenicians colonized Malta around 800 BCE, using the islands as a trading post. The Greeks and Romans later ruled between 400 BCE to 400 CE. As part of the Roman Empire, Malta prospered as a municipal colony known as Melita. The Apostle Paul was shipwrecked in Malta around 60 CE, spreading Christianity. Arabs conquered Malta in 870 CE, introducing Islam and the Arabic language that influenced modern Maltese. The Arabs were ousted by the Normans in 1091, who established a Christian feudal system. Malta was incorporated into the Kingdom of Sicily, ruled by successive Norman Swabian kings. In 1530, Holy Roman Emperor Charles V gave Malta to the Knights of St. John, who had been expelled from Rhodes. The Knights transformed Malta into a naval fortress ruling until 1798. They built lavish palaces, churches and fortifications like in the fortified capital of Valletta. Napoleon seized Malta in 1798, ousting the Knights. The French occupation was bitterly resisted by Maltese rebels who sought British protection. Malta became part of the British Empire in 1814. It was an important naval base that withstood heavy bombing in World War II. Malta gained independence from Britain in 1964. It became a republic in 1974 and joined the European Union in 2004. Today, Malta is a prosperous, densely populated island state that relies on tourism, trade and finance. Its rich history is visible through its megalithic temples, Baroque architecture and fortified cities. Malta has a modern high-income economy that has grown steadily since the country's independence in 1964. As of 2022, its GDP is roughly $18 billion, according to World Bank estimates. The key pillars of Malta's economy include tourism, manufacturing financial services, and trade. After World War II, Malta transitioned from a war-ravaged economy to an economy oriented around shipbuilding and tourism. Joining the EU in 2004 allowed Malta access to the EU's single market and led to economic diversification. Strict fiscal policies also contributed to steady GDP growth over the past two decades. Tourism is a major component of Malta's economy accounting for about 15% of GDP. The country's sunny climate, beaches and historic sites attract over 2 million tourists annually. Manufacturing makes up another 12% of GDP, focusing mainly on electronics and pharmaceuticals. 
As an EU member, Malta attracts foreign companies with low corporate tax rates. Services generate over 75% of Malta's GDP. The country has grown into a leading provider of financial and banking services in the Eurozone. Online gaming, aviation registration and maritime services are also important service sectors. Malta is positioning itself as a hub for blockchain and cryptocurrency ventures. If you enjoyed this video on Malta, you'll love this next one.